It is a two-parter, guys. <laughs> Yo, this episode um, is interesting because it's called Zero Day. And it's part one, so I'm excited. I'm excited to jump in right into this one. You know, with the last episode of um, us kind of getting into the League of Loises and diving into the multiverse, it was an intriguing type of uh, story through with a lot of Easter eggs and memorabilia and mix of spillitic, you know? Through l trying to learn more about Clark, uh, it seems as though Lois learned that not every Superman is good. Some Superman ac Superman actually want to take over their universe or take over their world, which is such an interesting concept to think about right because now she's starting to question a little bit whether or not her Clark is somebody that she can truly trust now her finding that piece of kryptonite she's gotten into a little bit of a moral quandary here we're gonna just dive right into this episode here and check this out um, my adventures with Superman zero day part one let's go guys What's going on? Why? Uh oh, looks like she's starting up for her suicide squad! <laughs> you stole from us. You committed a litany of crimes with our technology. You destroyed property and endangered citizens. But today, you will repay your debt to society. But weren't they the ones who supplied them with that technology? So they're like manipulating this whole situation. Come on! Hello? Close the door right now. Come away from the window. Hello? Oh, is this when he's discovering his super hearing? For the very first time? Negative. After this operation, Superman will cease to be a problem. Permanently. The general. Superman put out the house fire? Superman flew us to school? Flame rose? Superman saved my uncle? Wow. Clark's been busy. Oh, you have no idea, Jimmy. I heard you all the way from the warehouse district. There was almost a bulldozer accident. I stopped it. I have super hearing. Uh, you been sleeping much, buddy? Not for a few days. But that's not important because I heard him. The general. The guy who attacked you? And destroyed Cadmus, and kidnapped Heatwave, Intergang, and every other person who touched his crazy tech weapons. One million new followers? Uh, never mind. Keep doing what you're doing, buddy. Yo, Jimmy's moving up, bruh. That can't be you, can it? I know. The reporter who broke the Queen Industries inheritance scandal, who took down the Falcones. Perry, do you even know how many awards she's won? You know, when Pear Bear here gave me a call begging me to write an editorial for the planet. Not begging, offering. I said, why not? We knew each other in college. Look, Vicky's a lot, but she's thinking of leaving the Gotham Gazette. And if she does, I want her here, winning us awards. So today I need you to do whatever you can to keep her happy. Got it? That will not be a problem, Chief. They're like towing the line a little bit, giving us a bit of Easter eggs with a lot of these characters, but not explicitly giving us like the main characters of those areas, you know, like Batmans and stuff and other superheroes. What do you mean you lost him? We need to know his whereabouts. Lost? Lost who? Ah! Ugh. My name is Superman. I'll find your parents. What's your name? L Libby? Give me one second, Libby. What's that? No, no, please, don't. What's going on? Libby? Libby? What was that earlier stuff he was listening to? Because that sounded even more dangerous than finding this mother. <laughs> Libby! Oh, mommy! We're just getting reports of an invisible man. Intergang, the invisible man. He's the one the general's looking for. Superman's an old Oh yeah, cuz yeah, when I saw the anyone. um it was only the That's it was only two no of them there. And the third one wasn't good, there unless they're hiding something. That's not true. I, I mean he has secrets, but he wouldn't um 
He just... he wants to help. A superpower being shows up and all he wants is to pull cats out of trees? <laughs> yeah, I'm not buying it. I've got that award feeling about this. We'll interview people, get the dirt, show everyone Superman isn't to be trusted. Captain Imminent, fifth unit pilot. Superman saved my life when my engine stalled out. Without him, I wouldn't be here today. Oh, such a nice boy. And he carries my groceries. Sorry, I don't have much time. An invisible man is running around, and I think he's connected to the general. Yo, he looks so tired right now. He can't be saving everyone. Birdwatchers say an invisible force broke the window at Morrison's pawn shop less than a minute ago. Thanks, Jimmy. Lois, I'll be fine. Be careful. Let's go meet my final interview subject. Superman's no hero. He's the end of the world. Is he now? Tell me everything. Go back to where you came from! Wait! He shows up out of the blue, same time as that crazy tech. And what a coincidence that is. Superman wiped out good American jobs. He turned your city into a war zone. At what point will he destroy the rest of Metropolis? She's fishing hard. <laughs> if he really wanted to hurt us, what could we do about it? How powerful Superman is. Just him having a bad day could spell the end for us. Facts. I think I've made my point. No, that's not. Yo, her resolve is Superman so shaken and he right now. Do that. I know he wouldn't. Vicky, you can't publish this. You want to be number one? You don't get there by writing fluff. You go for blood. That's something Perry never understood. Do you? <laughs> Wait, I just want to talk. Oh, they think he's going crazy right now. Because they can't actually see this invisible guy right now. Get away from him. He's dangerous. There's a huge accident and Superman caused it. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I was trying to save... It's crazy how one bad looking situation can ruin your whole perception of somebody. This man has been relentlessly saving people and the one bad moment, his whole credibility is lost. That's amazing, man. Superman has lost it. What? <laughs> Bro, you gotta give this man the benefit of the doubt at least a little bit. Superman's dangerous. He should go back to where he came from. I've scared them. Yeah, that's what I was hearing before in the voices. Go back to where you came from. Ah, that's good old-fashioned family racism. Take a break from being Superman and just try being normal? Normal. <laughs> Clark, no, I, I, I... If you want to be with somebody, you got to accept them 100%. I'm not trying to hurt you. Then let me go! I need to save my sister! Your sister? What happened to her? They grabbed us after you ruined our bank job. I got away, but they got Siobhan and Albert. They took them into an underground facility with their other prisoners. Everyone hold on! I'm here to help! work release program. Can you guess what the job is? It's getting back at... Did you really nah, nah, this is a hard battle, man. This is like 20 people against Superman with like different powers, yo. This is gonna be tough. <laughs> The parasite tech is pretty tough. The more he hits it, the more it absorbs its, its, its energy. Damn. Metropolis Menace. The Ugly Truth About Superman by Vicky Vale, the Gotham Gazette's new editor in chief? 
She used us to get promoted. Nah, I'm not gonna lie. That's a bitch move, bruh. That's the west entrance. Come on. <sighs> like, what are they gonna do to deal with the situation? Come in there for moral support? Unless any of you guys have superpowers or tech, I don't think you're really gonna be able to do jack shit here. Man, he's starting to become a little bit more ruthless here. I don't know if it's a good thing. You have to get cut loose a bit. You know, had to like drop that Boy Scout persona, man. Looking like a real ass menace right now. I told you, Superman. Stand down, Ivo. <laughs> so what do they want to do with Superman you're here? You're done when I say you're done, Oh! Ivo. I had a feeling that he was already a part of it. Why are you doing this? Because you're no hero. You're the end of the world. I just can't wait till Lois realizes that this is her papa doing all this evil shit. Oh, it's brewing there. It's brewing. They've taken Clark. Reason, but like, I feel like that's where we're getting to. Oh man, that was that was a good episode with Clark kind of like burning himself out and stuff, like trying to save everybody. It seemed as though like being a hero here was like what people started to see him as but now people are starting to see him more in the other type of way like maybe he's not our savior maybe there maybe we should actually fear this man you know it's really realistic though honestly like i mentioned like when a famous person does something bad like everybody just like reverberates on it like oh my god how could he do this he's so bad blah blah, blah. but they forget all the good stuff that they did right i kind of liked now that we're getting more deeper in this whole general story and i think we're finally going to start to really see what this like why he hates Superman so much. It makes me think that maybe there might have been something that he saw as a crypto for Kryptonians that made him fear them, you know? But we'll see. We'll see when we get into this next part of the episode. But with this reaction, I'll see you guys around. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.